Hello everybody. Today I wanted to talk about Indiana soaps again. And today I have some bath bombs to um, show you. Uh, I'm not going to demo them like being used today just because I'm not taking a bath today. I have to be at work soon. But um, if you guys want to see that, let me know and I will do that. But um, here, I'm going to show you three different kinds. This one is the orange one. If you can tell, my camera may not pick it up, but it does have a very slight orange tint to it. Um, when making the uh, when making these, it's I have liquid um, coloring at the moment, and it's a little harder to get the coloring stirred in when it's liquid like that. So that's why it's you know not as true orange as I would personally like mine to be, but you know. And then this one is Dream Time, and that is orange and lavender. Mostly lavender, but definitely some orange in there. And I think it kind of helps, because lavender is not like my favorite scent in the world. And so, and lavender is calming, though, and so I like that. But I like orange, and so when the two are combined, it's really dreamy. And, I don't know, it's just really good. And then I have the lavender, and you're thinking, whoa, what is that? This is actually the same amount as one of these. Like, these two are the same, like, mass size, but they're not, like, you know, the same shape. But anyways, when you order, um, like, a lavender bath bomb, you'll actually get three of these or three of the cubes, whichever one it is, or unless you specify, then I'll make it one or the other. But, um... I like doing it like that, like separating it up into thirds, because I know when I go to Lush and buy a bath bomb, I normally try to split it into half, and it just does not work, it crumbs everywhere, and by that point, I'm just like, oh, forget it, I've wasted so much trying to get it in half, just throw everything in it, <laughs> in my tub, but, um, so, I split it up into thirds, and the lavender one is definitely the rich richest color, but... You know, there's spots that it didn't get to get mixed up that well. Because, like I said, the liquid coloring is really hard to mix into it. I can also just not add any coloring at all, if that's what you prefer. Um, and I didn't mention it, but the Dreamtime is kind of slightly orange as well. Um, less orange, so more white than the other um, orange one. More kind of spots of yellow and orange and red. But, um... So yeah, dream time, which I really like because it's relaxing, but I still get that orange that I love. Um, lavender, and then the orange one. And they're really moisturizing and luxurious as well because um, mango butter is used in it, which is really softening and just amazing to your skin. Um, I also carry citrus balm, bath balm which is lemon mixed with uh, orange. Uh, when I get grapefruit later on, I'm going to add orange, a grapefruit to that smell, and maybe even lime. We'll see. But for right now, it's just those two, because it's the only two I have. Um, and then there is yin and yang, which is lemon mixed with lavender. And I say that because the lemon is really stimulating, yet the lavender is really calming. And then I have lemon, and I believe that's it. I believe I listed them all that I have right now, but like I said, I'm, I'm planning on getting grapefruit soon. Um, I'm probably going to look into getting uh, a creamy smell. I'm not going to like make a creamy one all on its own, probably. I'll probably mix creamy ones into other things so it can have a really creamy, luxurious, um, milky smell to it. And then I'm going to probably get like vanilla and coconut and stuff like that that I know a lot of people like that I don't have yet. Um, those aren't my favorite smells in the world. That's why I got the ones I did first. Sorry. But, um, yeah, if you have any smells that you want to see in bath bomb form, lotion form, um, I'm hoping to get body butter soon, soap jelly form, let me know uh, down below, and I'll look into making it happen. Until next time. I don't know. See ya.